ACL reconstruction using the GraftMax curved reaming system provides a surgical technique that delivers precise anatomic tunnels without the need for hyperflexing. The GraftMax curved reaming system can be used with soft tissue or bone patellar tendon bone grafts with various fixation methods to create the preferred surgical technique. To begin, debride unwanted remnant ACL tissue and mark the center of the desired tunnel locations. Then, insert the GraftMax curved guide into the anteromedial portal with the knee flexed at 90 degrees. Then, insert the GraftMax indicator pin into the sleeve and down to bone to assess the projected guide pin exit and femoral aperture to cortex or AC length. Next, place the exact pin through the curved guide. Then, advance the pin through the femoral cortex. Remove the indicator and curved guide from the joint. Pull back on the flex exact pin, hooking the head on the cortex to confirm the AC length. Then, advance the flex exact pin out through the skin laterally. Next, insert the Graft Max Flex Sentinel Reamer over the flex exact pin, keeping the cutting flute away from the femoral condyle. Advance the flex sentinel to ream the femoral socket. Then, remove it from the joint, making sure to keep the blade oriented away from the condylar surface. Next, advance the GraftMax Flex Channel Reamer through the lateral cortex. Then, remove the reamer, leaving the Flex Exact Pin to position a passing suture. Next, position the tip of the Bullseye Tibial Footprint Guide in the center of the Tibial ACL Footprint. Advance the Tibial Guide Pin until it meets the point of the guide arm. Then, remove the guide from the joint. Ream the Tibial Tunnel. Then retrieve the passing suture through the tibial tunnel. Load the top white suture limb and both green suture limbs of the XO button into the passing suture. Pull up through the knee so that all three suture tails exit the skin. Keep tension on the trailing white suture limb so that the knot engages with the button, keeping it vertical. Advance the button and graft through the bone tunnels by pulling on the green suture until the button is positioned on the cortical surface. Cycle the knee with tension on the graft. Then set the knee at the desired flexion angle. Cut the white suture below the knot. Then insert the Genesis Matrix interference screw in the center of the graft bundles and advance it into the tibial tunnel until flush. And unthread the green suture from the button. Follow the normal procedures to close the incisions. <laughs>